If there's anything the movie The Martian taught me is that I will never, ever be an astronaut because there is no way I would be able to survive on the planet Mars or do anything right without thinking properly on my toes. This movie is another example. Walking on a wire on a great height? N no, no. <laughs> Walk is directed by Robert Zemeckis, who brought us Back to the Future, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Flight, and the much underrated Polar Express, and starring the man, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. As Philippe Petit, who is a wire walker, I'm going to stop with the French accent because that's bad, he's a wire walker who loves to walk on a wire in between two spaces at a very great height, and once he sees an article about the two World Trade Center towers being built and what they're going to look like when they're completed, he immediately goes... That's the perfect spot to do it. And so he makes it his all-time mission, recruiting people that he knows he can trust in order to get into this building, plant the wire in between the two towers, and walk in between the two buildings on the wire and make his impact on the world. Now, there's a couple of things I thought going in. Robert Zemeckis, Back to the Future, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Really like those movies, especially Back to the Future. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he's a great actor. I mean, I've loved him in everything I've seen him in, even if the movies in themselves aren't that great. But I know he's going to give it his all 100%. And I was hoping that this movie wasn't going to just completely rely on the final act when he walks on the wire. But luckily, it doesn't do that for the most part. I think it succeeds at making you care about this guy and his mission to walk on the wire. The acting, first of all, is great, of course. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he's never been bad. The French accent, a lot of people are complaining about his French accent. At first, it's a little bit distracting because we all know what he sounds like, and we're not used to hearing him speak with a foreign accent, but after a while, I got used to it. And yeah, he doesn't look exactly like the real-life guy, but I think they did the best job that they could of making him resemble him, and since the actual man, Philippe Petit, worked with Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the movie, teach him how to walk on the wire, I think he did a good job with it. And you understand his passion for it. You understand why he wants to do it. Ben Kingsley plays his mentor who helps him, who teaches him how to walk properly on a wire. And you got a few other faces in here, like James Badge Dale makes an appearance here as one of his accomplices. And I'm sure there's a couple others that I'm forgetting, but none that I recognize personally. And since this movie takes place in the 1960s to the 1970s, right around the time the World Trade Center was complete, obviously the World Trade Trade Center was going to be CGI. There was no dancing around it. But every time you see the World Trade Center, save for a couple of shots where you can really tell, mm, that doesn't look really good. The CGI for the World Trade Center towers and for the final act when he's walking on the wire in between the buildings, it looked 100% convincing. It looked realistic. Not one of it looked fake. And for those people out there who want everything to be done practically in a movie, that CGI is the devil and everything has to be practical, you might want to take a look at this final act and reconsider your hypothesis. This is one of those times where CGI looks 100% convincing, at least in that final act. And Robert Zemeckis, I know, has made a name for himself of incorporating special effects into real life shots. He did that with Back to the Future whenever the DeLorean went back in time and the blast took place, when it would disappear into another time period, when Forrest Gump would interact with another president. Flight, he did the same thing with the plane crashing. And Castaway, when he's on top of the mountain and he's looking out over the water. And same thing with the World Trade Center. It looks convincing. I'm sure most of it was a green screen, but the CGI CGI, it looks flawless. It is beautiful to look at. And the final act, there were so many times when he's walking on that wire, carrying that pole, and all the people are looking up from the street below. <laughs> Even though I knew about the real life event before I saw this movie, so I wasn't exactly completely surprised by the fact that it happened the way it did, but it still got me on the edge of my seat. And I completely forgot the actual outcome. And I'm really glad that someone like Zemeckis was able to bring so much passion and flair into this movie. Well done. If I have any problems with this movie, like I said earlier, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's French accent just took a little bit to get used to. And the movie, at least for the first half, it's a little bit of a slow burn because you're getting to know his character. It's an origin story and the pacing may slow down a little bit here and there, but if you stay patient enough, you will be satisfied with it. And I also saw this in IMAX 3D. Now, normally I get really tired of 3D these days and I was hoping it wouldn't sting the crap out of my eyes. Thank God it didn't. It looked really good. The depth was good. It didn't bother my eyes. And yeah, The Walk, it's a really well done movie and Robert Zemeckis has done it again. So if you want to go see The Walk, definitely go see it. No spoilers or anything, but the final shot in this movie got me a little misty eyed because this is the World Trade Center, not to bring up 9-11 in a very superficial, offensive way, but considering those events and looking at those two towers, I kind of got a little sad. So what did you guys think of the walk? Did you like it? You hate it? You thought it was all right? Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>